painting I'm going to be showing you today is um, quite a small painting actually. So that's the kind of size of it. It's on a box canvas. I think that's what we call it, like a box canvas. Um, me being the uh, frugal person that I am, tend to buy canvases when they're on offer. So I got um, like a not like a job lot. I got like a discounted lot of these kind of style shaped canvases. Uh, I kind of like the shape as well. It gives it more of this kind of a 3D effect. So into the painting. So this particular one here, um, I think this is about eight inches across, something like that, about eight inches by eight inches. And I think it's probably about one and a half or two inches deep, something like that. So as you can see, it's quite a geometric style painting. In fact, I say painting, it's not actually a painting at all. It's actually done with um, kind of, I say fibre tip pen, it's, uh, I'll show you the pens in a second actually, they're made by Liquitex. Now, I hadn't used these particular pens before. Uh, so what it is, it's like a, an acrylic pen, but it's um, in like a, a felt tippy typey thing. I um, can't actually think of the real phrase I'm looking for there. But it gives a really nice effect. You do have to be a bit careful with them um, because they can bleed and go everywhere. So I think this come out rather well, actually. It reminds me kind of going back to sort of 1960, something like that, which is probably about right, really, because I was born in that era. So it's my kind of thing, really. It's a kind of a cross between, I don't know, really. It's like a, it reminds me of Lego in a funny kind of way, but I think that's because, because it interlocks and the colours Again, a bit of light there picking up, sorry. The colours and the 3D effect as well. i have actually kind of going to frame it that way, but in hindsight, I think it could, could work well that way, actually. Once I look kind of like a diamond shape, I think it would be quite nice. And it has got some metallic on it. I don't often use metallic, but I did in this case. So I thought, well, if it picks up the lights, and I, can I get it? To, no, it's a bit rubbish here, the lighting. But it, it does pick up the metallic quite nice. This is a, just a kind of a classic gold metallic here. It does give it quite a nice, nice look. And of course, with the designs, as with all my kind of stuff, I always I like to go right around the edges here. Uh, so you kind of get your money's worth. I hate seeing people when they, they do a painting, it, it, shop, it chops off at the side. And there's nothing on the side, just blank. It just looks really ugh, unfinished and not very good. So it just makes it look a bit polished kind of thing. So the, the paints I actually used, or the... the um, materials I use are these Liquitex this is sorry because I'm shooting this it might be back to front on this but I might change it so um, Liquitex professional acrylic marker pen I think there was six in this packet um, these are the really chunky ones actually the nibs on these are mm, he says looking trying to find it I can't think they're probably a good quarter inch thick they are really really thick if I actually just get one off I'll pop that down for a second so you can see so it's one of those typey things with a ball bearing in it and you just pull it off. See, it is quite thick. And it is actually like a fairly flat tip as well. It's a funny kind of tip. It's kind of like a bit of a, you wouldn't say it's a wedge tip. It's not, um, I would, to be honest, I did it. I don't think I'm going to buy these again, actually, because I couldn't get enough control on them on the ends. You can get different tips that go in. So if you don't like this tip, you can actually go to go to any good art store and you can buy the tips that actually fit in these. So if you want a particular chisel tip, you could actually do that. Um, the thing about these is, because they are, it's a sort of liquid painting, you do need to kind of block them. So you press down to get the ink flowing. But it's like all these things, if you push it, push it too much, you tend to get a big blob of paint come out and it's a bit of a pain and you've got loads of paint to use up. So they're a bit of an acquired taste, these kind of things. But the effects are quite nice. So I use, I did use this colour um, on this, this pen on this painting. This is the colour, it says, it says brilliant blue. I would actually call it, is it cerulean blue, something like that? It's a colour that I'll quite use. And the blue and the red always go quite well together. So if you're looking for depth, blue and a deep red are always going to do the job for you. Um, I actually got these from Jackson's in the UK. We've got a, a supply store called Jackson's Art. Um, now I'm not being paid or anything like that. Just give me a bit of a tip, really, because find, finding good stores for um, quality art materials is pretty hard, uh, especially post-pandemic as well. And it seems to be that there's a lot of old stock out there. And I, I've bought pens and stuff like that from different places and found they've just been in stock too long and they just run dry, we're not good. <clears throat> so I decided to invest in these um, at Jackson's. Luckily, I've got a Jackson's outlet quite close to me. But if you're in the UK, if you just go to Jackson's, uh, Jackson's Art and you'll find you can order just about everything online. Um, yeah, so do really good range of stuff. I have to say, these are quite pricey. These are about £36, £36 quid for like six pens, I 
think personally i think it's quite a lot of money i didn't know what they were going to be like and i probably wouldn't buy the ones with that tip again but they did the job um of, on the finer detail i did actually use a different acrylic pen that had a bit more of a thinner tip on it that allowed me to get a bit more detail so that's just a quickie look at that painting it, i think it's i think it did get quite good results actually when, when i i stuck it online i think i did get quite a few comments on it but let me know what you think about that i think it's one of those that is pleasing to the eye but you can never tell i i really loved it when i was finished doing this but then you know you kind of get used to what you've done it sits there for a bit and then you kind of go off it you start the next thing you forget about it and it's, it's like anything the last thing you think is always gonna the last thing you do always seems to be the best thing but you can never really tell and it's very very difficult as i've learned through doing these videos actually it's very hard to tell what people are going to like and what um, is not going to be, I'm not saying not light, but not as popular. It's, um, it's everybody's tastes are wildly different, which is great. Otherwise, you'd all be quite boring, wouldn't they? But um, yeah, let me know what you think about this one here. I think it's a nice, chunky little painting, actually. I'd quite like to do another one. I got a feeling if I did another one, I don't think it's going to come out as good, actually. I think I was just really excited to do this. And I think that's the reason it came out so well. So thanks a lot for sticking with the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. And um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and you can get notifications and, and don't miss videos out when they come out each week. We usually release a video on a Friday for you. So thanks a lot for your time. Drop me a comment. Always reply to every single comment. So thanks a lot and I shall see you in the next video. Cheerio for now. Once again, thanks for watching. You can buy this painting plus many others on my eBay store. Search Tilson Art on eBay or just simply search my name, Victor Tilson. You'll find this plus lots of other paintings that you might be interested to take a look at and purchase. Thanks a lot.